Released in 1989, this Tim Burton adaptation of the famous DC comic book character impressively grossed over $400 million on just a meager $35 million budget. Clocking in at 121 minutes, Michael Keaton stars as Bruce Wayne, a billionaire who vows to avenge his parents' murder by battling crime as the costume vigilante known as Batman. And although he was originally protested by loyal comic fans and arguably upstaged by Christian Bale's portrayal two decades later, Keaton undeniably becomes the caped crusader in this film, truly embodying all of the suave sophistication and arrogance of Bruce Wayne, as well as the unflappable determination of Batman himself. As the evil, deranged, lunatic Joker, Jack Nicholson turns in an absolutely unforgettable performance that people still quote to this day, his maniacal laughter bringing to life one of the best villains in cinema history. You know what happened to this guy, Jack? Made mistakes. And then he had us. This light shot! Now you wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? What? I always ask that of all my prey. I just like the sound of it. <laughs> Never rub another man's rhubarb. <laughs> Skipping right past Batman's origin story, this movie opens up in a pre-existing universe, carefully crafted in the classic Tim Burton style. His treatment and scope of the Batman universe is serious but campy, flashy but gritty, and surprisingly well-written to boot. Featuring mostly practical effects, Gotham City looks and feels like its own character here, giving the viewer plenty of eye candy as the super slick Batmobile whizzes down its streets. The trademark gadgets, bat cave, and utility belt all receive a big screen treatment here, much to the delight of longtime fans. While this slower paced superhero film never quite reaches levels of true intensity or actual suspense, its simple and playful delivery definitely entertains. Outdone only by the recent Christopher Nolan adaptations, this, the first in the long, successful line of Batman films, is easily a worthy entry into the beloved franchise. Batman, colorfully entertaining, Nicholson is outstanding. Well, that's what I thought about the movie. Now let's see what you had to say about it in the YouTube comments. To show us our scores for Batman, here's the rate matic An 8 and an 8. Your praise for Nicholson's performance as the Joker was unanimous, but the film's faults were harder to nail down, resulting in an average score of great from you. I completely agree. This is a fun and at times zany version of the Batman universe, but there's something decidedly missing that prevents me from scoring it any higher. But I did think it was pretty great. 